welcome back everyone today i will do a full explanation of the minion from the new asgard boss i attacked this minion with my main account and my heroes easily defeated it because their levels were already high So I jumped to my second account and set my lower level hero to level 65 so that it was equal to the level of the minion we will fight this time. New Asgard boss minion. Exhausting heart. Where he can drain the main stats of our hero to zero. And to stop him we have to do 5 control effects on harp. So you have to use hero control in your team. You can find out which heroes have control abilities by looking at the hero profile in the stats section. What is meant by a control hero is a hero who has a main role of control or an additional role of control that can perform controls such as stun, blinding, silence, slow, charm and mind control. I will only use 3 heroes at this time so that Harp is not defeated quickly. Once we start the fight then the material reality will switch to astral reality. You can see the stave above your hero with an arrow pointing down. It indicates that your hero is being drained of his main stats. But fortunately in that effect, your hero can still launch attacks on harp. And if you do 5 control effects on the harp, then it will stop. Besides that we can see that harp only does magic damage that continuously damages all heroes at once. So it will be very beneficial if you bring a hero who can counter magic damage like Rufus or Isaac. And you are not limited in this battle so you can do all types of damage to harp, physical, magic and pure damage. From the battle log we can see that Harp cannot do healing. New Asgard boss minion. Thundering horn. Inflicting stun and damage over time on the three closest heroes. This effect will last until the hero receives appropriate healing. So at least you have to use one healer hero in your team. I will experiment and use only three heroes in my team so what will happen if there are only three heroes left in your team and Horn uses his skills continuously to stun them. As soon as the battle starts, Material reality immediately switch into astral reality. The fight will have a duration of 2 minutes and let's see from the beginning of 2 minutes until how many seconds this stun will continue. As you can see if there is no proper healing then the stun will continue.
It stops at 1 minute 35 seconds. This means the stun will continue for 25 seconds if it is not stopped. And this will gives you the chance to attack and heal. And after 4 seconds have passed. Horn again does stun and damage over time. But since I have done healing before. Then this stun will not last long. Same as harp. Horn also does magic damage. So you will really need a hero who can counter magic damage. And also you are not limited in this battle so you can do all types of damage to harp. Physical, magic and pure damage. From the battle log it can be seen that Horn is the same as Harp in that she cannot do healing. New Asgard Boss Minion This minion is given the title Step into the Astral Plane. This minion will introduce us to the shift from material reality to astral reality and also introduce us to the Harbinger Barrier. The barrier will protect enemies in material reality. But when reality changes to astral reality, the Harbinger Barrier will disappear. This time I will use a team with a full 5 heroes. You can see the indicator above the pet which continues to fill up until it is full. Then the material reality will change to astral reality and vice versa. You can also see 5 enemies each using this Harbinger Barrier. It's reducing incoming damage and continuing to get stronger as time goes by. When the indicator is full, it will switch to Astral Reality and instantly the Harbinger Barrier disappears. You can see that there is an aura with a plus sign symbol above the hero which indicates that the healing in the Astral Reality is reduced from the normal. Another thing you need to know is that in Material Reality you can do all kinds of damage to your enemies, like physical damage, magic damage or pure damage. But when reality changes to astral reality then you can only do magic damage and pure damage to your enemies. In this battle simulation, the combination of the heroes I used with the incoming enemy attacks resulted in too much healing and damage being done at the same time so the game became laggy. This lag is made even worse by the transition from material reality to astral reality or vice versa. The game even stopped and I thought it was going to crash. The transition between the two realities causes the game to become very laggy. I hope the game developers can fix this issue of the transition process between the two realities and find a solution so that the game doesn't laggy like this.
you can see that even with the same level which is level 65 both between my hero and the enemy it's so hard to beat them then how about fighting them with level 160 later you really have to think about an effective combination of heroes to defeat these minions and now i ended up running out of time From the battle log we can see that the new minion character is named, the Forlorn. And from the healing tab section we can see that Forlorn can do healing. New Asgard Boss Minion. This minion is given the title Ether Ghost. This minion consists of three characters, one of which we already know the name, the Forlorn. That means there are only two more minions we need to figure out the names and attack patterns. This fight will only take place in material reality. The two minions at the very front. I'm sure they are enemies with the role of tanks. Let's take a look at the attack pattern of this tank. This minion has a 2-1 attack pattern. And they will repeat this pattern continuously. Meaning they will do two basic attacks at the beginning and one special attack at the end. This minion performs two basic slice attacks. The attack is a melee attack that will damage all hero in the front row. and one special stab attack that only damage one hero in the back row. The minion in the middle row I believe is a damage dealer and it looks like it's a mage. Let's take a look at the attack pattern of this mage. This minion also has a 2-1 attack pattern. And they will repeat this pattern continuously. Meaning they will do two basic attacks at the beginning and one special attack at the end. This minion does two basic energy ball attacks. The attack is a single attack that will damage one hero in the front row and one special charge energy ball attack which will penetrate all heroes from the front row to the back row and in the process will damage all of them as we already know the minion in the back row is the forlorn and she is a healer let's take a look at the attack pattern of this healer this minion also has a 2-1 attack pattern, and they will repeat this pattern continuously, meaning they will do two basic attacks at the beginning and perform one time his special ability which is healing at the end. This minion will attack you with two times single attack, she will blow out the candle and the candle will release an energy ball that will damaging the hero in the front row with very little damage. And after that she will do his special ability by healing one ally who has lost the most life points. 
You are not limited in this battle so you can do all types of damage to them. Physical, magic and pure damage. And that's all the full explanation about Minion from the new Asgard boss. Hopefully it's useful. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, give a like, and ring the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next one.